What's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Today I'm going to be going over some of the updates on the new 2024 Paws. This is a 21.4, but it's going to be applicable to most of the units in the lineup. So before you order or buy one of these, make sure you reach out to us and confirm if certain features or components are on the unit that you specifically are buying. We have some people that show up and think, oh, it has all of these things and that's not necessarily true. But generally you can get a new 2024 with all of these new features. So there's a bunch of things. Some of them are little, some of them are pretty major. So I'm gonna go over the major ones, not go over all the tiny little details because there are lots, there's probably a hundred different changes that they've done from the original 2023 model that they released just over a year ago to the now 2024 model. So I wanna talk about appliances because that's a big change. Like I said, reach out to us and make sure this component is installed on your unit. If you order one directly from us, from the manufacturer, we can make sure it has it. But the appliances have, he's moved everything from the water heater to the furnace. He moved them to a Truma product. So the original furnace was a suburban heater and it had a single port that just shot out into the cabin and heated up the entire cabin. The new Truma, it's the Vera heat and it's ducted throughout the entire trailer. And yes, ducted even into the underbelly. So it is now considered a Four Seasons trailer. The original ones were not Four Seasons trailers. The 2024, if you order one right now, you can get it with Four Seasons setup. Um, also the water heater, they were using a water heater. It was an on-demand Fagotti water heater. They've moved over to the Truma AquaGo. Um, and also it's not just on-demand, but it's instant. A lot of people don't understand what the difference between a tank heater versus an on-demand versus an instant. On-demand means when you turn on your water and it senses that you've turned on your water, it's gonna kick on and eventually you're gonna have hot water coming out at your spigot without a tank. It's just gonna be heating as you're running the water. Instant is different. Instant means that they've run plumbing all throughout the trailer, to, all the way to the spigots of your trailer so that so there's a circulating system inside of the AquaGo. Has a little pump and it's pumping hot water in the lines so that when you turn on the spigot you're gonna have hot water right at the tap instantly that's why it's called instant hot water <clears throat> it's a little bit different people get confused between on demand and instant so this is an on demand instant water heater so that's pretty cool and that is a really nice feature and that's done right in production another thing is that some of the units are coming optioned with more solar capacity once again reach out to us to um, ask us which units have more solar because some of them originally you had only 600 watts on the roof but now you're able to option 800 watts on the roof you still also have your briefcase panels that you can get you can have anywhere from 1200 to 1400 watts of solar which is pretty crazy also another cool thing that they've done is they've reconfigured the whole Victron Battle Born battery management system. Right here you can see all the Victron stuff is very easy to access and they've changed this on most of the units moving forward. So everything used to be kind of stacked up really tall. They've put this stuff a lot lower down so it's lowered the center of gravity of the trailer but also is really easy to get in here and turn things on and work on things. You have breakers here so if you need to pull something out here it's just a screw and you're able to pull this out. Another thing that they've added in the 2024s and reach out to us to make sure your unit has it if you order it directly from us. You will also have the Orion DC to DC charger. So yes, that means the seven pin actually has a wire in it and it will come back and charge the lithium battery while you are driving. So very cool. This is a whole new revamped new system that they're doing in the 2024s. And I just think it looks beautiful, but it's also just easier to work on the trailer if you ever need to. Another cool thing is that they are putting the max tracks right here on the table tray that drops down. Uh, just pre pretty easy to access it right here. You unscrew and you're gonna be able to use your max tracks. They used to be on the back, up, back of the trailer and it was just a little bit harder to get up there. You had to climb up those steps and reach over to grab them right here. They're very accessible. Hopefully you don't actually have to pull those out that often and use, but sometimes you do. One of the last and final things that they've changed, an improvement that they've made, or I should say an option, is this bed area. When they first came out, they had really only one option. 
and the option was this option, what you see right here. You drop down and you have a couch area to lounge, and then this bed folds up out of the way when you're camping during the day. At night, you would flip this over and you would drop your mattress down and then you would sleep at night. Of course, I'm a connoisseur of mattresses, not really. I have my preferences and I always want to use my mattress because when I go out camping, the whole reason why I own a camper is because I want to be able to be comfortable and sleep really nice at night. I didn't like this setup and so I asked Maynard, hey Maynard, is there a way that you could, well, first I said, can you make the mattress thicker? So in the very, very first 2023 models, the mattress was quite a bit thinner. He added about an inch or two thickness to the mattress. And I was like, oh, that's pretty good. But overall, I still didn't love it. And I was like, Maynard, why don't we set it up where we have a stationary bed? So you can option to get rid of this area and just have a bed that's always set down. That way, personally, I can put my mattress in it. And that's what I've done. I've gone out camping and I just pull out, I have a guest mattress, which is the same mattress pretty much that I sleep on every night, but it's in my guest room. I pull that mattress out and throw it in and I sleep in this. If I'm going for a week long trip, I'm sleeping in this and I'm just having an incredible night's sleep and I'm having fun while I'm out camping. But they've also added a third option. Besides the stationary and this option, they've added an electric bed lift option where it, it does have a fold in the mattress where it kind of folds out and goes up and then drops back and then it turns into like a lounge couch area. And that's a really cool setup and it's by a press of a button that it goes all the way up. You don't have to do this folding mechanism. And that's a really good option as well. That one is a little bit more comfortable than this one, in my opinion. So those that that is definitely something that I really appreciate as a user and as a camper to be able to have more options for beds. Um, another thing that they've added and it's coming out in all the new ones is the Garmin system. They've changed it up a little bit. As you can see, this right here is mounted to the wall and you go, oops, I turned off the lights, I pressed it. So you can control all of your systems. Now it had the Garmin before, but now this thing is just always stationary. A lot of people were like, what if I lose the Garmin? It's like, well, you also have an app on your phone you can download, so you're never gonna be without controls to your, your trailer. You also have manual switches that you can use, override things. Um, there's also cranks on a lot of the components that you would use on the Garmin. So there are backups to everything, but now they've put this into the trailer so you can't pull it off, you can't lose it, you can't misplace it. You can order this, the old system where it has that removable one and you can take it in your truck and control it. But the reality is with the phone app, you don't really need to do that. You just use your app on your phone, but you have this all put in here. It also seems to work a little bit faster because it's hardwired. It's not wireless or Wi-Fi. Anything that's Wi-Fi is also always gonna have some sort of delay as it connects. But this is a lot faster and just cleaner being built into the system. Okay, uh, another thing that they've added is these little table poles with this mount right here. And this is pretty nice because you just tighten it in right there. And these are a lot sturdier than other ones that I've seen in the past. They just go on like that and they tighten up. And then of course you have a table right here that is gonna drop in right there. And it's gonna, and it's actually pretty sturdy. And you'll be able to use the other chair that's in here at your workstation and be able to sit comfortably three. You could bring in another chair and try to squeeze four people at this table. But this is a really nice setup. They also have this option available for the other trailers, the 20.3s, the 20.2s. Uh, you will want to get a higher mount system if you do the electric bed option because that bed is a little bit, sits higher than this bench that I'm sitting on. But it's kind of cool when you do that because if you are cooking, you can actually have it match the exact same height as this. And then it almost makes a massive kitchen area prep space. If you're in here cooking food, you're not sleeping necessarily during the day. So you put the bed away and you have this ability to use another prep space for more countertops. So very cool option. There you have it. Uh, those are some of the big things. One of my actual favorite thing that I haven't mentioned yet, but I couldn't show it to you today is the all new Rhino lining black coat on the outside. The thing looks so so cool. Some people don't love the decals, so there's options to be able to do rhino lining. Uh, we could even ask potentially other colors, but black is the standard one that you have on it outside and it looks beautiful. And that is probably one of my favorite things about the new paws is that rhino coating. But outside of that, there's probably a hundred other little things, little details that you don't necessarily see or know about. Just kind of improving the overall trailer and its 
functions and everything. So there you have it. If you have any questions, reach out to us. You can reach out to us in South Carolina. Our sales coaches will be able to help you. You can call us in and just press one for the sales coach and they'll be able to walk you through everything, all the details about the new pauses in 2024. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have more questions, you wanna see a full walkthrough of the 21.4 or any of our pauses, go down below and we'll send you to a link where you can see all the different models and go through walkthroughs on all the different trailers. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.